Imagine losing your home, business or school in an earthquake and having to rebuild. As well as that, the shaking damaged the underground wells and now your drinking water is contaminated. This is the reality for more than 355,000 people who were left homeless after a series of deadly earthquakes in the Indonesian island of Lombok last year. But the incredible thing is, the Sasak people haven't lost their spirit and they're working together to rebuild. Hey and welcome back to my channel Roxanne Taylor Media. I'm back here in the Indonesian island of Lombok following a local charity which is doing some really cool eco-friendly projects to help rebuild after last year's earthquakes. I'm so excited to share this story with you so make sure you click those subscribe and notification buttons and let's go. these students are being awarded this month's school prize. It's not for sports or academic performance, but for hand making the most eco bricks, a sustainable and cost effective material for rebuilding. And it's got a massive bonus. Indonesia is one of the world's worst plastic polluters. So these eco bricks offer a solution by using the rubbish to create something new. Children at this local school in Gunung Sari are learning the importance of picking up plastic and their families are getting involved as they're paid money for each brick that's up to standard. <laughs> And local women who have little to no income have happily taken up the opportunity to get paid to recycle. They collect uh, the plastic, they collect either on the streets or uh, in their homes, whatever plastic they use. And then they clean it, they dry it up, uh, then uh, cut it into smaller, <coughs> smaller pieces and then you can put it inside just using a simple kind of stick. You can use it to push them inside to make it as tight as possible. Each of these bottles weighs over 200 grams so they're quite light and while they might not look it they're actually really hard because they're packed so tightly. There's two ways that we can actually build them. We can use them this way so laying down and then uh, if we want to put them standing up like this that would mean we don't need so many echo bricks. So it will have uh, either wood or iron or any kind of material in between to hold it in. And then on the outside, we can put chicken wire on both sides and you can either leave it open like that if you actually want to see the bottles or you can just uh, put cement on top of it and you would never know what's inside of the wall. It would look like a normal wall. Before the earthquakes, Batuk Community Foundation was a grassroots charity with Finnish expat Anna and her local husband Haramat taking donations at Anna's restaurant business in Gili Trawangan to distribute to locals every couple of months. But when the earthquakes struck, they came straight to Lombok and never left, with helping the Sasak people rebuild, becoming their sole focus. We're now headed to Lombok Timur, which is on the far east of Lombok, and that's where we're going to go and see a school that's been built out of earth bags. Okay, so we've just arrived here in Lombok Timur, and this is where they're building the school. Let's have a look! Oh, it's amazing! <laughs> The recycled flower bags are filled with dirt and stacked neatly to form the walls. The earth bags and gravel base layer absorb a lot of the movement from earthquakes, so this is an earthquake proof building method. And in between each layer we put uh, barbed wire, um, double barbed wire, which they are also doing their part in holding the bags uh, in place. It's almost half a meter, which makes them really, really sturdy and strong. And also what we have put inside here, uh, we have these iron uh, rebars uh, put all the way through. Uh, and those are also doing their part of holding, holding everything together. So after the earth bag foundation is set in cement, they're enclosing it in this wire and then another layer of cement will go around it so it's going to be earthquake proof and then in the top half they can put either shutters or in this middle section they're actually going to use the eco bricks to divide the two classrooms. Now I'm going to have a chat with one of the local builders called Amaru and he, this is the first time that he's learned how to do earth bag building. Perbedaannya, kalau kita membangun eh, rumah yang biasa saya bangun pakai bata, pakai itu dan ini Bahannya dia agak ringan, agak ringan. Nah, ini agak beras sedikit tapi bagus, kuat. 
ya kalau kita hitung anunya kuat ya daripada bangunan yang biasa saya bangun itu. We have only pretty much locals working here because I think it's important that they learn the skills and they know how to do it. So if they want to use this kind of building technique for themselves or uh, even as a business method for themselves, that will be amazing if they can do that. And, and the more people build this way, I think the better, better it will be and, and uh, the more stronger houses we can have here. Saya serap dari masyarakat banyak sekali sangat senang karena dengan adanya sarana pendidikan ini karena sudah lama belum ada kan sekarang semua mau masuk di sini kepala sedesanya saja mengatakan oke okay, gitu kan luar biasa. Close to the school at Patuk Secondary HQ here in Lombok, Timor, they've set up this industrial water filter to clean, bottle and distribute clean drinking water to local villages. But there's only so many people they can regularly get to. However, an incredible project allows people to safely clean their own water. And you won't believe how affordable it is. So we've just arrived in this village called Urumbuk and they've delivered 12 of these water filters. Now you can see the water, it's quite yellow to start with and a lot of baddies in there that we don't want to be drinking and it's very expensive for them to get bottled water and to be boiling water. After the earthquakes, the quality of the water from the wells has become a lot worse. So now with this, they're able to filter water and it goes through a ceramic uh, filter and then it drips down here and then they're able to pour it out through a tap so you can see that it's much cleaner now and safe for them to drink. And it tastes just like normal water. It's bagus. <laughs> and that. One water filter costs only 35 Australian dollars or 22 euros. And that's enough to provide clean drinking water for up to 25 people every day for three years. People are still sleeping rough nine months later, so at least having clean water can help minimise disease. So you can see just next to their broken houses, they've built this temporary accommodation from some bamboo and wood and some bits and pieces they've found just on the foundations of where their homes were before. Filming this video, it really struck me just how much still needs to be done, but it was so uplifting to see firsthand how easy it is for us to help. When you think about how far the Western currency can stretch here and how much of an impact a small donation can have. I hope you found this story as inspiring as I have, and if you want to help out with any of these incredible projects, you can find the links to the Patuk Community Foundation in the description box below. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel, Roxanne Taylor Media. Check out my other videos from here in Indonesia and around the world and I'll see you again soon.